Hi, thanks for watching part two. It's a good thing you did because you would know how to code if you didn't. And in part two, I'm going. In part one, I already showed you how to do the image editing. So in part two, I'm going to show you how to code the layout of the image. And the site I'm at is the drac.com HTML tester. And the address for that is www.drac.com uh, slash HTML tester dot HTML, which I'm sure you can leave the dot HTML off when you go there. There's a link to it on the tutorial page of the website, which is over here. And I'm going to be copying and pasting this code from the tutorial I wrote because it's faster and I, it's not like I'm, you know, stealing the code because I did write it just only once. So, the first thing you're going to do is copy that first line in here. The first line, whoops. The first line is the one over here where you specify the image. And the image says background, but don't worry about it. The background isn't um, like in table code, you've got a picture, and then you've got a background picture. This confused me the first time I did this. But don't worry about it. Background is the main picture with a div code. So, um, now you can come down here to this line, which is the line for your text box, or the starting line for your text box, that is. Oops, wrong one again. Hold on. There, that's better. Now, come over here and paste that in. Each piece of code goes on its own line, and you can feel free to copy and paste this code from over here. You can find the page I'm on if you want to head to that page. You can find it under graphics help and it's the one on top under pages, graphics, and then graphics help and then how to make layouts. So over here again we'll copy and paste the next line. The next line after you get the first part of the text box code is this one down here which is for the font customization which if you don't have this line it won't work so it's not you know just to customize and then you have to put text in. If you don't put text in the box, the box will not appear. I have unfortunately made layouts and forgot to put text in them and then freaked out because for some reason I had all this perfect code and there was no boxes showing up, but I forgot to put text in it and it will not show up that way. I always fill out the box with text like this. I've gotten really good at typing the word text repeatedly since I learned to make layouts. You can too. Okay, the last part I don't need to copy and paste, I know. It's an ending font tag, which looks like that. An ending div tag, which looks like that. And on a new line, one last ending div tag. Apparently, this part confuses some people, all these tags. But what? You, even though you don't really need to know, just copy and paste it in there, and you'll be fine. Just because I like to know stuff, and I assume you do too. Then, the reason this is like this is, imagine this as a bunch of... Well, don't imagine it. Just look here. This line up here is the main point of the layout. This up here is the image. Or it will be as soon as I cut fill it in. But after you have this, this part up here is the image. Anything we put after this, such as the text boxes, are being applied to this. Therefore, you don't end this part because this here is one tag. This is a div tag. Then you have to have an ending tag because in HTML every tag has an ending. There's just like bold. To give you a quick example, if you want to make text bold, you put B in the little arrows and then slash B. Whoops. In the little arrow. That's how bold works. Or that's how HTML works, how bold works, how div tags work. So imagine that you can't end this until you've got everything in it, which means everything has to be inside of this line. You do not put any code on the bottom of this line or it will not work. And I'm just going to copy and paste this for the next one. Well, actually I won't fill it in yet. I'll just leave it. The point is that this belongs to here. This is a div tag that goes here, but the font here ends here. And the insides end in order. The last one applied ends first, the second one applied ends second, the first one applied ends last. So, what you're going to do is 
first you put your direct link to the image in, and I'm going to, well, I'll use the main image URL down here. Oops, not far enough. I already uploaded this to TinyPic, so you always use the TinyPic code for this, because if you don't, there's a possibility that the image may move if you right-click it and select the copy um, URL. And if that happens, then your layout will be invisible and it won't work, so you don't want that. And oh, I bet I didn't do something. Yes, I didn't. I have to save this over here first. I just realized that. And, well, actually, one other thing while I'm thinking of it. When you're doing this kind of layout, you always need to resize it. You need to resize it to 890 and then leave the rest of it. This size is 890, and that's how wide it can be. And usually it changes the F side to 556, but if you keep the keep proportions box checked, it will stay the way it's supposed to be. So now, save the photo. Save it as a minute layout. I think that's how I'm doing it. Come over here to Tiny Pick Upload Image from here. Choose file. Um, Manip layout. Upload. And of course, I have to put in this thing. Click play to reveal security code. I hate those things. Wish it just had a normal. Um, and as soon as this is uploaded. We can copy the direct link for layout, because obviously it's a layout, and replace this one that I just pasted in here, because that one's wrong. Sorry about that. That was for the wrong size image. Now, we know the width of this is 890. You're filling in the width of the image. You have to remember what the width, and it has to be in pixels. All these measurements here, with a PX on the end of them, that's pixels. And this size 556. Now, this is the part for the text box. I'm going to guess, this is an educated guess because I've been doing this a while now. Um, I'm going to guess that this text box is going to be 150 wide pixels. And height, we're going to go 170. Whoops. That was down. <laughs> Wrong place. Over here. Uh, I missed out height. I figures. Um, over here is where we put that number, not over there. Ignore my mistake. I know what I'm doing. It may not look like it, though. Center is the text align. It's how the text is going to be aligned. Duh. You can do left, right, or center. I always like center because it looks cool. And margin t top is how far from the top. This, the margins are very important. They put your text box where it needs to be on the picture. So... And you're not going to get this right the first time. It's going to be save and look, save and look, save and look, change in between, see where it ends up. And we're going to guess for now it's going to be about 300 pixels from the top. I have no idea. I know it's pretty close to the left, so the margin left can be 20. And plot color black, that's fine. Size, always change your size to at least 2. Size 1 is so little it looks distorted on a target. Face area, no, that's fine. Now, scroll down here and test the code with this button. And, oh my, we couldn't have gotten any more perfect. Look at that, it's right where we wanted it to be. And, I always keep in my head, where did I put these text boxes? I'll probably code these in order and then do the updates when last. So, we're going to be coding all these. And we, to do the next one, I just copy the text box code, enter. It entered before the last div because you cannot have any code before or after the last div. Paste this in and change your margin real quick. But before we do that, we're out of time in this video. So in part three, I'm going to show you how to do the copy and paste for the text box codes. And thank for, thanks for watching part two. And part three is coming.